The Cognitech TriSuite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from images or video sources. One of Video Investigator's primary functions, Automatic Motion Deblur, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Video Investigator Automatic Motion Deblur tutorial. This interactive tutorial will focus on utilizing a blur kernel to remove blur using accurate velocity information. The first step is to open a file. Files can be opened with the Open File icon in the Icon toolbar. Click Open File to continue. The evidence video has been selected. Click Open to open the evidence video. This video has been deinterlaced and is one half of its true height. In order to view this video in its original scale, it must be zoomed vertically. The zoom tool can be found in the toolbox. The zoom tool zooms the preview image and will not affect the process video. Click the zoom tool. Clicking the zoom tool expands the options available in the toolbox. Select the zoom in vertical tool. Zoom the evidence video by clicking the video. The video can now be seen with twice the height. Velocity plugin modules perform apparent velocity estimation by performing computational matching or registration between video frames. The result is a velocity vector that is attached to each pixel. Velocity vectors are utilized in motion deblur, stabilization reconstruction, frame fusion reconstruction, and mosaic reconstruction. Cognitech Video Investigator has three available velocity filters, correlation matching, manual matching, and shape matching. The Velocity Characteristics section determines what combination of motion models will be used for calculating velocity vectors. Deselecting unnecessary motion models will increase the accuracy of the velocity calculation. Here are illustrations of the motion models available in the Correlation Matching Velocity Filter. The Track Matching window automatically tracks any object selected in the video. This option is currently in development and will be available soon. Velocity for Frame Fusion reverses velocity vectors and is used when calculating velocity for frame fusion. Target Frames determines which frames get matched when determining velocity information. Target frames are numbered relative to the current frame position. The simple velocity pattern simply compares the current frame to the next frame and is the default velocity pattern. This example of an advanced velocity pattern compares the current frame to each of the next three frames and shares a separate velocity vector for each. All parameters and object selections can be copied between frames using the active interface. When activated, the active interface will provide an instant preview of the filter applied to the evidence. Before we can utilize automatic motion deblur, velocity information must be computed. Open the filters menu to continue. Velocity filters are found in the velocity category. Open the Velocity submenu to find the proper velocity filter. Several velocity filters are available in Video Investigator. Click Correlation Matching to open the Correlation Matching Velocity filter. The motion in the evidence video contains only translation. Deselecting unnecessary motion models will increase the accuracy of the velocity calculation. Remove the rotation, zoom, projection, and shear motion models. Target frames determine how many frames forward and backwards are to be compared when determining velocity information. Select all target frames. Selecting the object of interest in the evidence video establishes the object to calculate the velocity of. Click the selection tool to make an object selection.
Now that we have applied an object selection on a single frame, we need to duplicate the selection and filter parameters to the other frames in the video. Once the object selection and parameters have been duplicated, each frame can be easily customized independently. Toggle the active interface copy type to parameters and selections. Click copy to copy the parameters and object selection from this frame. Click duplicate to copy the parameters and object selection to all other frames. To save time, we've gone through each frame and adjusted the position of the object selection to follow the license plate. Click process to calculate the velocity in the evidence video. Cognitech filters with active interface process each frame according to its individually definable parameters and object selection. Click finish to close the correlation matching velocity filter. Automatic motion deblur accurately removes blur introduced by object motion or camera motion using pre-computed velocity information. We can now remove motion blur with the motion deblur filter using the velocity we computed. The motion deblur filter is found in the deblur filters category. This is the automatic motion deblur interface. The automatic motion deblur filter is the best way to remove motion deblur in video with accurately calculated velocity. The automatic motion deblur filter provides several parameters to adjust the extent of blur removal. The automatic motion deblur filter can be applied using either the Wiener or total variation method. The motion scale parameter allows the user to adjust the linear extent of the motion blur removal that was estimated by the velocity filter. The motion scale parameter is proportional to the amount of motion estimated by the velocity filter. The signal to noise ratio parameter is an estimate of the balance between the energy of the signal relative to the noise. Decreasing the signal to noise ratio parameter will eliminate noise artifacts but also attenuate small image features. The signal to noise parameter should correspond to the amount of noise in the image. What parameters will be used to deblur this image? Automatic motion deblur will use the motion scale and signal to noise ratio parameters. Velocity information has been used to determine the length and the direction of the blur. Because the blur direction is automatically determined by the velocity filter, automatic motion deblur does not require the user to establish the direction. The motion scale parameter allows the user to adjust the motion length that was automatically estimated by the velocity filter. The signal to noise parameter is more difficult to determine. A visual estimate of the blur suggests that the original image is 100 to 200 times more prevalent than the noise. So we will try values between 100 and 200. Here is the blurred image before automatic motion deblur is applied. When the automatic motion deblur filter is activated, the direction parameter is predetermined and the length is estimated from the pre-computed velocity information. By adjusting the motion scale, the length of the blur is more accurately estimated. Increasing the signal to noise ratio to 100 increases the detail in the image. A higher signal to noise ratio provides sharper results but also brought out noise artifacts. This signal to noise ratio is a compromise between a high and low value. The image is still sharp and the noise artifacts are less prevalent. Due to the physics of motion, motion blur will be different for each frame. Parameters should be adjusted for each frame. To begin the Wiener filter motion deblur process, Open the Filters menu. The Motion Deblur filter is found in the Deblur category. Open the Deblur submenu. 
Several deblur filters are available in Video Investigator. Click the Motion Deblur filter to open it. Click the Activate button in the Motion Deblur filter to activate the active interface. Increase the motion scale parameter to 150 to match the evidence blur length. Decrease the signal to noise ratio to 25 to decrease the level of noise artifacts. Increase the signal to noise ratio to 125 to increase the sharpness of the image with an acceptable level of noise artifacts. Toggle between the processed and original image. Click continue to move on. Click copy to copy the adjusted parameters. Click duplicate to duplicate the current parameters to all frames in the evidence. The parameters from frame 1 will provide a starting point for subsequent frames. Click frame 2 to adjust its parameters. The actively updated evidence window shows that the frame 1 parameters do not match the blur in frame 2. Change the motion scale parameter to 100. Change the motion scale parameter to 200. Frame 2 is properly adjusted. Click frame 3 to adjust its parameters. Change the motion scale parameter to 180. Frame 3 is properly adjusted. Click frame 4 to adjust its parameters. Change the motion scale parameter to 100. Toggle between the processed and original image and compare the effect of the automatic motion deblur filter. We have applied the automatic motion deblur filter and individually adjusted the motion scale and signal to noise ratio parameters for each frame utilizing the active preview window to see changes in real time. Click process to apply the processing to the video. The video has finished processing. Click Finish. The automatic motion deblur filter provides clarity to this motion blurred video. Toggle the checkbox to compare before and after automatic motion deblur. Here's a comparison between the original video and the automatic motion deblur video. Click continue to move on. You have now successfully enhanced the video with automatic motion deblur. This technique can be used with either the Wiener or Total Variation filter. Experiment to see how to best apply automatic motion deblur for your evidence. If automatic motion deblur does not provide acceptable results, check out the manual motion deblur interact tutorial. If you would like to return to the beginning, click restart course. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.